Hey guys, it's Mama Mythos. Welcome to yet another video. Today we will be displaying and unveiling the origins and mythology behind the god of gods himself, Zeus. If this is your first time stopping by, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with other myth junkies. Let's get started. Prepare to be in shock and awe. Zeus, the Greek god of thunder and the sky. His very name means to shine, sky father and heaven. His name is cognate with the first element of his Roman equivalent, Jupiter. His symbols are the thunderbolt, eagle, bull, and oak. He is displayed throughout pop culture as a character of power, merciless and calculative. The birth of Zeus and the events that followed shows precisely that. Kronos, the father of Zeus, sired several children by Rhea, Hesia, Demeter, Hera, Hades, and Poseidon but swallowed them all as soon as they were born, since he had learned from Gaia and Uranus that he was destined to be overthrown by his own son. So he just figured, easy fix, I'll just eat all my kids. When Zeus was about to be born, Rhea sought Gaia to devise a plan to save him so that Kronos would get his retribution for his acts against Uranus and his own children. Rhea gave birth to Zeus in Crete, but instead of handing the baby to Kronos, she gave him a rock covered in a swaddle. After reaching manhood, Zeus disguised himself as a cupbearer, gave a mixture of mustard and wine to Kronos, which caused him to vomit. He disgorged first the stone and then his siblings in reverse order of swallowing. Zeus managed to also free the brothers of Kronos and the Cyclops who were imprisoned and was given the Thunderbolt. With this ability, he sought to start the War of the Titans, the Titanomachy, a 10-year battle between generations of gods against the Titans. The war was fought to decide which generation of gods would have dominion over the universe. It ended in victory for the Olympian gods. After this, Zeus and his siblings were assigned their dominions and titles. Throughout history, Zeus has used violence to get his way, or even terrorize humans. As god of the sky, he has the power to hurl lightning bolts as his weapon of choice. Since lightning is so powerful and sometimes deadly, it is a bold sign when lightning strikes, because it is known that Zeus most likely threw the bolt himself. I've come to the realization throughout my research that there are many similarities between the story we've been told in the Bible and its relation to stories of Zeus and various others. I'm assuming we're all familiar with the story of the biblical flood. Well, in Greek mythology, a large flood was done by Zeus to wipe the slate clean of humankind and start over again too. In the Bible, we're told that God started the flood. In many stories of various cultures, someone started a flood. I would love to do a video about the ancient floods of mythology at some point in time. If you'd be interested in such a video, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I'm sure it might interest you that the story of the flood was almost an immediate response by Zeus's anger towards King Lycaon, who was turned into a ravenous wolf for his offense against Zeus. The word Lycan and King Lycaon are so similar that it's been said that this story was the origin of the werewolf. I know you guys really want me to tell this story, but I'm gonna have to do a werewolf video and tell it then. So let's talk about Zeus as a lover. In the Olympian pantheon, Zeus had 23 consorts, including Hera, who is his sister. This group produced 58 divine offspring, among them Aphrodite, Apollo, Ares, Artemis, Athena, Hermes, Persephone, the Three Fates, the Three Graces, and the Nine Muses. Woo! Zeus is known to have the power of transformation and has used this ability to lure maidens and goddesses for a romp with the big guy. I'd like to think of him as an ancient thought, or might I say the baby daddy of the Greek pantheon. Both titles are pretty much spot on. His powers of seduction and deceit were creative at best. He transformed himself into a swan to seduce Leda, that sounds tricky, a satyr to seduce Antiope, kinky, and a white bull to seduce Europa. Wow. Zeus was no doubt a womanizer, but with that beard and those muscles and the power of gods, I suppose it's hard for them to resist. But with all the transformations, I can't really see how it worked, but to each their own, I guess, ladies. Onwards to my favorite Zeus. 
I think that the Clash of the Titans movies from 1981 to 2010 really epitomized the role of Zeus as a father, bringer of justice, and destroyer. Also, Liam Neeson, because Liam Neeson. Release the Kraken! Which video game, movie, or TV show best represented Zeus in your opinion? Let me know in the comments below. Well, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for our upcoming videos. Want to know how you can support this channel? It's easy. Just like this video, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. I'll see you guys next time and thank you for letting Mama break down the mythos.